Hello YouTubers, this is Fedor and I'm doing a review of this uh, electric, um, I guess you can call it a turbo charger. And it's a, it's a brushless motor so you need an ESC to drive it. And I have this uh, 30 amp ESC, I got an eBay and this little cool looking motor. Uh, the mystery is the brand and it looks something like that. It's pretty awesome and it does work. Here I'm going to show you in a little bit. I have an Arduino chip running and I made some code and it's hooked up to this uh, uh, 3 cell 22 milliamp hour battery and I have a potentiometer here to control the control the speed of it. So the hardest thing is to arm the ESCs. These are a little tricky to arm but once you have them armed they're really easy to control and I'll post the, and I have the code down in the comments area. But the this motor is a up to 45 kilo 45,000 no 4500 kilovolts. There you go. So for every volt this thing will spin 4500 times. And here I have this is a um 11.1 .1 volt battery minimum. So it, it's up to like up to like 12 something a little almost, almost 13 volts. So that's a lot of rpm on this little fan and it will do some it will put up some air. Here I'll show you how it works. If I just turn this knob to the left, that's on low. It has a lot of thrust, as you can see. Um, it does work. If you connect this to your car, it will probably give you like maybe like two to three psi, maybe even more than that, which is which which will boost you up pretty good. So I would recommend it. It's just hard to install the st install it with the ESCs because you you'll need this. So you you need a fan, a brushless motor, you'll need an ESC. And then you'll need something to drive the ESC, which you can do one of these chips. But these operate on 5 volts, so you'll need another uh, regulator to control to control this. And then you'll need, I guess, a potentiometer, but you don't really have to have that in order for this to work. Because as your car goes faster, I mean, as your car slows down, you don't want this to blow too much air. I guess it doesn't really matter, but you sometimes you want to regulate this somehow. That way, if you don't always want to use it or put it on low... And um, tips for buying ESCs, make sure that whatever the motor, motor draws, you do way above that. So if this motor is, a, let's say, a 15 amp motor or so, get it like a 50 amp, maybe even 60, 70 amp ESC. Like this is a little small, but I will, I will eventually get a bigger one. This is a 30 amp ESC. I will definitely use a lot bigger because these do get a little warm. And I barely used it, so, I mean, when you're driving, you're driving, like, you know, 20 minutes, 40 minutes at a time. So you want something that, you know, that stays cool. So you want your ESCs to stay as cool as possible. And the bigger one you'll get, the cooler it will be. So I would definitely recommend, you know, get really, really, you know, really, really good ESC. And ESC is an electronic speed control. And that's it.